Yes, another Lenten season, and as it is the tradition, the first reading for this season is the story of Jesus going into the wilderness. The wilderness, a place that is maybe a little too familiar for myself these days. Um, if some people say sometimes that we should maybe visit the wilderness once in a while and to rediscover what Jesus went through or the Israelite went through. The fact is, nobody really want to stay there. Being in the wilderness is uncomfortable. It is unpleasant. It is unsettling. And our first impulse is often to find a way to get out of there. And the longer we stay in the wilderness, sometimes we're ready to take any solution to get out of there, to find a way back home, to go to what, to go back to what is known, what is comfortable. And like I said, sometimes we're tempted to take shortcuts. It's like, I had this conversation a few, a few days ago, it's like when a congregation, a church, decide to have a discernment process, a visioning process about the future. And they're ready to ask difficult question of where are we and where God calls us. But too often the temptation is to already decide what will be the result. And the result these days are we want more young families with children. We shortcut the process. We want to go where we want to go, where once again it's comfortable, where we expect to go. Jesus went into the wilderness to prepare himself for his ministry, but maybe most importantly to learn about himself. It was for him and for everyone going through time of wilderness a transformative experience. When an experience, a moment that we can almost say there's a before and a definite after. And as we beginning this period of Lent, we have to be ready we're asked to be ready not necessarily for a time of privation but for not for finding okay i will give up something and i know already that when easter will come i will stuff my face with chocolate but it's an invitation for a profound the potential of a profound transformation for a journey that is not always pleasant and a journey that does not necessarily bring the outcomes that we desire and yet it's a journey of transformation it's a journey when our character is tested it's a journey of self-discovery and the outcomes could be amazing even if it's not what we plan. So, maybe for this time of Lent, maybe our challenge or invitation is to venture outside of a zone of comfort. And when it starts to be uncomfortable, to stay there a little more. And to begin this process to learn about herself, to listen, to discern what will be the next step, what God is calling me, and how I will answer this call. Once again, thank you very much for watching. I remain the lectionary man, Reverend Stéphane Vermette, and until next time, 
Take care of yourself. And bye-bye.